Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be like a no buy announcement kind of video. Now I know I've been doing a lot of different no buys, low buys, and like a lot of things throughout. I would say it started somewhere in 2018, and then there were a few in 2019 as well. But uh, what I've realized is that there hasn't been like a big change when I had to do like a low buy, which is why I decided to do like a proper no buy for the year of 2020 and that is what this video is going to be all about. So I'm going to tell you uh, what you can expect from me, what you should not be expecting from me, some exceptions, the reason why I'm doing the no buy and basically like all of this. So the first reason why I decided to do a no buy is because I've realized I've been spending a lot of money uh, in all of this like makeup, skincare, bath and body, hair care, all of that. I have been spending a lot of money and one of the main reasons I want to do this no buy is because I want to save money. I want to be a little bit more mindful about what I'm buying, why I'm buying, do I actually need it or not. So yeah, that would be probably the first reason why I want to do a no buy because I want to save money and I want to put my money in places where I actually need to and not just buy things which I already have or like replacements or um, if I already have similar things which I can make do with then there is no point buying or repurchasing things over and over again. That would be my first reason about why I want to do a no buy but there are also I mean you guys obviously know I've been doing YouTube for more than two years now and it's going to be a journey which I am going to continue at least for the next few years and uh, when I'm creating content it's mostly review based and in 2020 I've also decided to make content which I actually feel um, confident about which I actually want to share with all of you and in that I'm focusing a lot of a lot of um, my energy my time and my money on review based content which does require a lot of money and time and efforts as well but uh, trying out new products buying all of that stuff uh, is what is going to help with the review based content and for that obviously I will need to buy things so I can't um, just completely stop buying anything and everything and just use whatever I already have it's going to work for a few months and that way I'll be able to use a lot of things that I already have but I will not be able to create much of content that way especially when I want to do specifically review based content and um, by now you already know that there are two series which I want to do on my YouTube channel in 2020. The first one is going to be like the what the hype or like is it worth the hype kind of videos so I have shared this already in my overview for 2019 and like my plans for 2020 kind of video in which I shared with you that um, in 2020 every single month I will be testing out one extremely hyped up product which I will use for an entire month and then after the uh, month ends in the beginning of the next month I will share whether I think it's worth the hype or not after using it for like an entire month pretty much every single day so um, for that I will have to buy and try out hyped up products every single month which is going to be like 12 products in an entire year and of course if I am going to be doing that I will have to buy those things um, every month like once in two months or something like that uh, I will have to continue doing that so of course I will have to buy all of those things so that is not included as a part of the no buy and another thing uh, since I was talking about review based content I uh, also want to mention that I will be doing a lot of like brand reviews and testing out products from one particular brand and giving you like an overall brand review telling you uh, about all the products which I've tried out and share whether I think it's worth it or if it's not worth it or uh, if you should get your hands on it or like basically all of that stuff like an entire in-depth brand review and I will be doing that every once in two months so you will see around like six of those in the entire year and of course if I'm trying out an entire brand it's going to cost me another approximately eight to ten thousand or maybe even more than that like twelve to fifteen thousand like every two months and of course I will be spending that money and it's not again going to be a part of the no buy so those are the only two exceptions that I will uh, allow myself to indulge in or like spend um, apart from all of the money uh, that I do want to save like these are the only two um, directions where my money will go in 2020 apart from that I will not be buying anything and um, the main um, 
rules that I have set for myself in this no buy is that apart from these two exceptions, the only time I will spend any money is, for example, if I have like um, five nude lipsticks in my collection and all of them are the exact same, it's pretty obvious that I don't need any more. So I will use up all of those five lipsticks before I buy any more nude lipstick which is similar to that. And uh, for me, the only... Um, so like I have very specific categories of products that I tend to go for. Um, there are a lot of things which I don't use because I feel like I don't need them as well. Um, so now for example, if I'm talking about new lipsticks, it's something which I use on a regular basis and I always need to have them. And of course I have a good share of stuff already in my collection so I don't need more. But uh, for example, again, like I mentioned, if I have five and I run out of four, I use them up completely and just toss them away, uh, probably share them in empties or something like that. Once I'm done with that, I will just have like one new lipstick left. And once I have used a good chunk of it, maybe I'm like halfway done or maybe 30, 40% done, whatever, then I will allow myself to buy a new one because I know that the one I have will probably run out in a while. And then I will, of course, need a new one. So that was the only... Uh, time when I will buy like I will just replenish um, what I need basically that is the only time where I will allow myself to go out of the no buy apart from the exceptions and actually buy something so um, that way I will basically uh, make sure that I'm cutting down the size of my collection um, I have done a skincare inventory um, a few months back but then since thing from there like since then things have gone pretty out of hand i have bought a lot of things and i will probably do like another skin get inventory sometime soon i also share with you my makeup collection as well so you can kind of get an idea about the amount of stuff that i have and to be very honest i don't need so much of stuff i can definitely cut down a considerable amount and that is what my goal is at the end of 2020 is to have a very smaller manageable collection and make sure that things are not going out of hand and I won't have like a ton of stuff so yeah that is majorly I think everything that I wanted to share about um, like my collection and the no buy and everything of that sort those were all my thoughts that I wanted to share with you guys and yeah I um, hope that um, this video was helpful and informative for you guys and let me know what your thoughts are. Are you someone who has like a nice considerable amount like a manageable collection basically uh, where you feel like you are at a good place and you feel like things are not going out of hand or are you someone who has a lot of things but you're still happy with it or you might be planning to cut down just like I am. I would love to know. Um, your journey when it comes to makeup and skincare and i would love to chat with you guys in the comment section down below so definitely leave your comments down there and yeah definitely to subscribe as well because that way you will get to know every single time i post a new video and for that you don't just need to subscribe but also hit on the bell button because that is exactly how you get like notifications whenever i post a new video so yeah you can definitely do that as well and also also follow me on my instagram as well because i've been sharing a lot of updates there as well from time to time so yeah that's pretty much it for this video thank you so 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 much for watching you guys until next time bye bye bye